Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. It, I hope everybody's having a marvelous Monday um, and had a good weekend. Uh, I woke up just all refreshed, just grateful, you know, to get up in the morning and, you know, be able to see everything outside, hear everything, and it, it just feels really good. You know, um, my video today is about Indigo's deprogramming. You know, I, I look back on everything that I've been through in life, you know, and I, I mean, it's truly devastating and heartbreaking. A lot of people probably listen to my videos and just like, wow, you know, I had a friend, a new friend come up to me the other day. Well, you know, not come up to me, but, you know, it takes me, you know, and said, you know, you're always smiling. You know, you've been through so much. And I said, you know what? Life is so precious. You know, I look at, you know, life a totally different way now. I look at life totally different. You know, um, it's just the fact, yes, you know, I did lose my father, you know, and I mean, that's still devastating to me. You know, I still have days where I cry and I listen to him, but it's just to know that he's here every day just to let me know, you know, he'll send me like a little song or, you know, a song will come on it, you know, it's just like, um, uh, until you're in my arms again came on, uh, at 4:20 this morning and it was like right when that ended it, it was uh way my way back home and i always every time i hear that song it's just that feels like me you know i'm ready to find my way back home i'm ready to be home with my family you know and it just brought me so much strength to actually go through this because i did not think you know when i learned that everything that my, you know, I went through in life that pertained to my father, you know, pertained to my family, keeping me away from my father and my, you know, the rest of my family, you know, I, you know, I thought that was going to break me, you know, I cried every day, you know, I did not want to live, you know, and I'm just like, you know, I wake up in the morning and just, you know, why am I here? You know, what was my purpose? But just to know that I'm able to make these videos and, you know, there might be somebody going through you know, some devastating times that, you know, they're asking themselves, why are they going through this? Or, you know, I mean, I had to grow up for like 35 years, you know, worth of abuse that I had to deprogram myself this within a few months. And I mean, it tried to break me every way, which way possible. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to let this happen to me. I'm not going to let what I went through define me. I'm not. You know, um, I went through this for a reason. You know, I'm able to make these videos and get it to out to people. It's not as many people I thought it would attract, but you know, just for the fact that I got a little people, you know, a, a little amount of uh, people actually watching my videos, and you know, hopefully it'll help somebody. You know, they're probably going through something just as much as I am. You know, and I'm hoping that it can help someone. You know, um, make you feel comfortable in your own skin. I had to look at myself. I had to watch a video the other day with infinite waters. And it's just like you have to have confidence in yourself. And I had to look at myself in, in the mirror and just say, you know, what do you love about yourself? I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm black. You know, just everything. You know, I'm a positive person. No matter how much, you know, people have tried to break me down and been, you know, been me any kind of way to make me want to lose life, not even care about life. You know, that was my motivation. And you know what? You, you need to do better for yourself. You know, who's going to love you? You know, you can't expect somebody else to love you if you don't, you don't love yourself. Nobody's not going to respect you if you don't respect yourself. You have to deal, you know, if you want to deal with somebody, you got to if you want all that, that's that's the, what you need to be attracting. That's what kind of company you need to keep. And that's what I, you know, I had to tell myself I had to do that. You know, I just wanted to be friends with everybody. But you just can't be friends with everybody. You know, um, and just the fact that I can just deprogram myself and strip myself of everything that I have been talked down to that I wasn't going to make it. You know, I was stupid. You know, I'm going to either land in jail or dead. You know, there's nothing good about me. You know, I've always been taught something negative about myself. And it's just, I had to tell myself that, you know, that I'm beautiful. I, I am somebody, you know, I matter. You know, my life matters. Everybody's life matters, you know. And it, it's just that the fact that I've been going through this for so many years and just, you know, thinking, you know, I've been... 
I've been lied to my whole life. You know, I never knew, I knew me, but I never knew myself. My dad always keeps telling me, you know, you need your light, your love, you know, you need to love yourself, you know, know your true self. And I, that's why I'm, I'm loving my true self. I'm loving what I, what I found. And it's just, I want to be able to come out to God, you guys and tell you, you know, if you're going through something, you know, just pray. You know, if you're seeking for something, trust me, the answers will come to you. Whether it is through a phone call or just so happen, you know, like a Facebook post. <laughs> that's positive, that's telling you everything's going to be okay. But you have to be willing to accept that. You know, I used to always run away from my fears. I had to face my fears head on. And trust me, that wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> it really wasn't. Like right now, it, it's just, I had to... Not everybody's going to love me for me. You know, I, you know, I have family that, you know, my, my, my adopted father couldn't even be around me by himself because I look so much like my dad and I sound so much like my dad. And I always wonder why, you know, he felt that way about me. Why couldn't he love me the way other people's, you know, fathers love their children? You know, why did he make me feel like an orphan? Why did he make me feel like not part of the family? But, you know, that to me doesn't matter no more. As long as I know that I had a father out there that loved me so much that he was willing to write songs, you know, and express himself through it. You know, even though I didn't hear it until the aftermath, but at least I was blessed enough to know that he was able to give me that gift, gift of love. And, you know, and that's why I was bringing up that show that I watched. And it was just like, God didn't bring me this far for me to go through all this turmoil for me not to know what true love was. And I never really knew what true love was. I never knew what love meant because everything that I felt that loved me or whatever was like um, authentic. You know, it really didn't feel like love because love shouldn't hurt like that. And when it came to my dad, that's all I felt was true love. And it feels good. It really feels good. Cause yesterday I was just crying tears of joy because I feel like, you know what, you're going to make it through this. You're going to be with your family and you're going to be happy and you're going to be able to help others, you know, get through their hard times or whatever. If it's a perfect stranger, just to know that they say, you know what, Rosalind, I love your videos. You know, you really inspired me to do something, you know, and it's not about, you know, fame or anything, but just to know that I've touched somebody's heart. To let them know, you know, dang, she has been through some stuff. Like right now, I got into a situation where I had went to a store. I'm not going to name the store. But I was just there just to blow off steam because I was pissed off, you know, on top of everything else I was going through. And thinking I paid for all my stuff. And come to find out I didn't. And then when the one of the security people had saw the picture on my phone now the other lady was very nice to me i was cooperative and everything because i didn't feel like i did anything wrong you know i wasn't trying to go up in there a wreck shop up in there but you know things happen you know with when they said when one of the characteristics went in uh not incognito but um indigos uh we we'll see a storm coming and run straight to it you know and it, it was just like i put myself in that position to where um, the woman was just like, oh my God, you're going through a lot. And the this guy was, you know, he, he was acting racist. You know, he, you know, he didn't go by the book or whatever. And I ended up going to jail just because the fact is, you know, he thought it was funny because, oh, you're, you're Prince's daughter, huh? So, you know, how about this? I'm going to teach you a lesson. Basically, you know, he lied to the cops and said, I assaulted him. I didn't even touch him. He ran up on me. And I told him, you know, look, don't come up on me like that. Now I got to deal with something that, you know, you know, because of hatred, you know, people hating or people being jealous of who you are because you, you stand up for yourself. You know, I'm not going to sit up here. I'm not bragging for the fact is this is my father. I've lost my father, but I'm not going to be ashamed of who he is either because I have nothing to be ashamed of. You know, this is a beautiful man that has done a lot of nice things for a lot of people. And, you know, just for I can go on certain, you know, sites and stuff like that and see what kind of impact he's made on people. That's what warms my heart. You know, it's not about, you know, I'm the purple one's daughter. It's not about that. 
you know, I want to be reunited with my, my family. That's what's important to me. Family is important. It's not about the money or the fame. It's family. It always has been. You know, I haven't really, you know, had a chance to really know that, you know, except at the beginning of my life. I can look at my baby pictures and say, you know, I, you know, I miss that. You know, I miss that happiness because I had a light that was so bright on me when I was a baby. I was really happy and wasn't able to there was really nothing bad anybody could say about me because I was a really good baby even though I stayed in the hospital and was very sick I was a very happy baby but you know growing up you know basically it's like me and my dad went through the same thing you know I looked at Purple Rain and you know only thing it was I wasn't on stage singing with a guitar you know I had to go through the emotional abuse of seeing my parents argue you know they drink you know, and it was just like it was a normal day of fussing and fighting all the time. And I don't I don't want my children growing up thinking that's normal. It's not, you know, and it, it's, it's the things I experienced has brought me into a stronger person. You know, going through the recent thing I'm going through, I got to go to court for this now. You know, and hopefully they'll drop the charges for that because it was, you know, a simple mistake. But, you know, people looking on the outside in, it's like, oh, she did this and this and that. And that's not even what it was. Because even the woman defended me and told the cops I didn't do anything. But this man was trying to break my arm. Because just because this man said I attacked him and never touched him. Never did anything. But he just saw a picture of me and my father together. And that was just enough to fuel him off. Just for him to do what he did. But, you know, I forgive him for what he did. You know, I'm not even mad because I put myself in that position of where I shouldn't even been there. I should have just, you know, walked down the street or something, never even went to the store because my mind wasn't, you know, where it's supposed to be. You know, but I'm here to tell you, you know, things happen for a reason. Sometimes we put we put ourselves in predicaments that, you know, we'll always, oh, the, if the devil's busy or, you know, God's punishing me or something. A lot of things, you know, God will probably tell us not to go somewhere. We go anyway. We can't blame nobody but ourselves. But, you know, it, it, it's just a good thing to, where you can be able to strip all that negative energy off of you, all that chaos off of you. You know, if we, if everybody was to do this right now, you know, the world would be a better place. <laughs> the world would really be a better place. But um, I'm not going to hold you guys up. I just wanted to let you know. I, I mean, I'm thinking about you guys. I'm hoping everybody's doing really good and um and i'll see you soon i'll probably make a video in the next few days so i hope everybody's being blessed having a prosperous day and just to know i'm one more day closer to where i need to be it's a blessing to me all right love you guys talk to you later peace